YouTube doing an update on the uh, reptiles, snakes, whatever. I can't use my editing software because um, my camera's broke. Both of them broke. No, I broke one of them's camera because I dropped it and it's not. The screen's not working. So using my phones, I can't do all the editing and stuff. So you have to bear with me. It's gonna be pretty ugly and boring. But this is the Columbia Rainbow Boys cage. I found some new substrate bedding. It's like earth, not equal earth, but it's like earth. Don't worry, that is not in the water dish. It's also underneath, as you can see. Well, there's bits in there, but not a whole lot. Very tropical and very humid. I want I don't really like the bedding really. It's just too messy. But there, they got the same bed in there as just dryer though. They're cold and I smissed it down because the both of my snakes are going to shed and I've housed the two spells together, little ones. There's the new one up in the like that, that's the new one right there and that's my old one there. They spread their cool end down but they climb a lot those two. Got these outside, bleached them all out and they're all good to go. Help my snake shed on. Down there we've got that albino hat for albino Burmese python or python. Well, how, how do you like to pronounce it? You see, it says 94 Fahrenheit. Is a well, because he, I think the probes underneath the paper. Usually, the probes on top of the heat the paper. But 95 is alright. 94 is not too bad. I'd rather keep it at 90. No, but if it goes a bit up a day, it's a bit cool. It's a bit colder in this room today because it's not very nice weather outside and it's quite chilly in this room, really. So then, and yeah, so that's the albino barn. This has got the earth ever spilt a bit, so I've got to go get the Uber in a minute. Also, I'm about to clean some of the snakes, so I've got to be, make this video really quick. There's the common boa constrictor, um, male. We're about seven and a half, eight foot. He's doing pretty good. He's, he's eating extra large rats, which is basically a jumbo size, and so is he. But I think they're a bit too big, but he's doing fine for now. Um, if you notice, I don't have the corn snakes anymore, they're gone. See, that terrarium's empty. Still got all that stuff in their little paper towels and the water dish, but I'm not, I don't got I ain't got them no more. It's a holding tub, and they're like all spare tubs, you know what I mean? It's all spare. That's my main holding one down there for the bigger snakes. That's the female cornboa. It's doing pretty good. She's around about three and a half, four feet. Mister that cage down because she's in shed. Um, those two are in shed. The big boa is deep in shed. And he is going into shed. So the only stick that are not in shed is the Burmese. The only stick that's not in shed in my collection. He's gone into blue eye. They're about to go into shed. Their scales are going really dark. He's going to go into shed soon. He's really dark and dough and pink. And she's going into shed. you be able to see her eyes are like, are blueing up. You can, you can tell it's easier with this. Our eyes don't um, blue over a lot, but I can usually tell she's in shed by looking at her scales and you see they're like a bluey colour. So, that's how I know when she's in shed. Same with the bow, other boas, really. Um, so, yeah, this is the. This is do a bit of an, like a little bit of an update on the, the little the new edition. Alright, you see her scales are going like. He's got a very pink belly anyway. See his scales are going like a bluey mystic colour, however you say it. So yeah, oh, he's doing a bit of a yawn. I love getting slits like that. So yeah, um, just a wrapped up bit like a green tree python there. I just put this log in there last night. They've been on it all over. They've been on it all over the place. So yeah, it's the common boa instructor. So yeah, that's it really guys, not much, but you know, what like a video, I made a decent one in a while, so I thought they could make one now, so, yeah, at, what, at some point I'll do a tutorial on how to um, bleach these out, or get them from outside, now, uh, these are fairly really dirty outside, what I did, put them in really, really hot water in the bath, sprayed them with disinfectant, I don't know if this does anything while well, like, we have sprayed this all over the place. I've got some mite stuff sprayed that all over the logs. Because it killed any of the germs and I poured bleach over it, believe it or not. That does the trick. Um, you, people say you have to use special bleach and you have to put them in the oven for a couple of hours. Well, you don't really. I just bleach mine, leave it for about two hours in the water. Wait till the bath's gone completely cold. 
Um, I think I used all the bleach up. I'll see if I've got any left. Uh, well, I used like it's similar to that. Not exactly the same, but it's similar. Oh, that. Oh, that's what I used. That's empty. That's what I used. Thick bleach citrus within what, sensible or whatever by Sainsbury's. Yeah, whatever. But people say you should use special bleach, and you've got to put it in the oven for a couple of hours. I didn't do it. I just bathed it for a long period of time. Really, get some mite spray and um. In fact, then just kill off the other spare germs because it's toxic to germ to parasites and that. The parasites can come from outside of your house to in your rooms. That's what they're for. And so I don't see why you can't use it for logs. It seems on the trick. No snakes are poorly or anything. They've all got one in their cages. I've got the big one in there. They let climb. He's the one to help him. They're all to help shed them down. I'll get some brick stones because they'll be easier. But I want to keep some of these in there because they like the climb. He's got a little money one. He has perfect sheds anyway, so I don't really need one of them. He's got one. She's got one. So, yeah, that's it, guys. So, it's been a long and boring video, but, you know, rate, comment, subscribe. And while I'm at it, might as well give a shout-out as well. If a shout-out in this video to... If I can try and find him. Um, I'll give a shout-out to Mr. Reptile Smiley. If I can find him. I'm typing his YouTube username, Mr. Reptile. There we go, Mr. Reptile Smiley. Go shout out to him. Cool guy. Got no snakes. Stupid computer. Shout out to Mr. Reptile Smiley. That's his YouTube account. Um, like his videos a lot. I'm, I look forward to watching every video he has. I've watched pretty much every video he's had since I started YouTube. Since I started. Sorry, if of oh, fucking lads, I'll try this crap, but. Yeah, shout out to Mr. Rectal Smiley. Um, yeah, let's make it really quick. Bear me, this computer is absolutely shit. It's got 500 odd subscribers and, you know, whatever. I'm a big fan of his hog boa. Very big fan. Do a clip on it. So give a shout out to him. Pretty cool guy. Love his intro, his intro or whatever. Hey guys, Jerry here. Just doing a quick update on my uh, boas. Uh, and it's really, uh... yeah, he's got pretty cool videos. Oh, nice so yeah, we're gonna give him that. We'll, I'll give him a nice big shout out. He's a pretty cool guy. I love, I love his snakes. So yeah. Um, cool. This is an entrance to his videos, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, so. Big fan of this part of his entrance. Yeah, so on a shout out to him, so that's pretty much it, really. Um, um if you message me on YouTube, I'll promise you back just straight away because I'm. Constantly on watching videos on YouTube because I'm addicted to it. So yeah, um, yeah. Update and shout out to Reptile Smiley and um, got you know big fan of um, prehistoric pets. Look forward to watching all their videos. Also, um, Snake Bites TV, Brian B. You know, I look forward to watching all these people. Uh, oh, you got to watch Mental Snakes as well. They're pretty cool. Awesome, so yeah, mental snakes are pretty cool, they're mental as well, do crazy stuff. That's what us British, what, that's what us British people are like. So, yeah, I live in born Plymouth in the United Kingdom, it is always raining, it's boring. So, don't move to England ever, stay where you're originally from, stay in Australia or something like that. Don't move to the United Kingdom, it's absolutely cold and it's always raining. So, yeah. Quick video guys, so yeah, see you later.